So I've been seeing a lot of comments about people asking um, what slicing is or how to get an image um, separated or cut in the middle so you can put initials in there or your name in there or whatever. So I decided to make a video and to show you how the easiest way to do it that I found at least is. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is the way that I found that works the best for me. So um, first thing that you're going to do is you're going to upload the image that you guys want to cut in half. And I'm just going to pick something that I've already uploaded. So we will pick, why don't we pick this deer? We're going to insert that. And you guys, this is going to blow your mind how simple this is. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Now say I'm going to put my son's, I want to split this deer in half and I want to put my son's name right in the middle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a shape and I'm going to pick square and then I'm going to unlock it because if I don't unlock it, the only thing I can get out of this is a square, but I want a rectangle. So I'm going to unlock it here and now I am free to move this about however I want to. So I'm going to size it like th that right there and this right here should give me ample enough room to put my son's name in there so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to select everything that is on my page right now which is just these two things and I'm gonna hit slice so once I hit slice we're gonna have a few different pieces to take away from Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm actually going to delete the rest of these pieces because I really only need this. And it's one piece, so that's awesome. It didn't separate into two pieces, it's one piece. So the ratio never gets messed up, um, the spacing never gets messed up. But now it looks kind of funny, to me at least, it looks kind of funny having this deer split in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another shape I'm going to put it right up against the bottom of this. I'm going to unlock it. Make it like this. And then I'm actually going to copy that shape and paste it again. When I do that, I'm going to bring it down here. And then I'm going to select everything on my page once more. I'm going to align it and I'm going to align it horizontally so it kind of is even. I'm going to bring this guy up here a little bit more. And now if you wanted these two lines separate, a different color from these two, um, keep them the way they are. But um, I want them all the same color so I'm going to select everything that's on my page again and I'm going to weld them together so they become again one image. And then I'm going to put some text in there. And that is my son's name. And let's change the font. Does anybody else's font list load very slowly? It might be just me because I have a ton of fonts in here. Let's see. Um, I will pick... I'm super picky when it comes to my fonts and what I use. Let's try Beyond the Mountains. Perfect. I like that a lot. So I'm going to resize it to fit it right in there. And I think that looks good. So then what it looks like when you cut on your mat is you're going to hit go. Your deer is going to be on one or whatever shape you're using, and your letters are going to be on another. So um, all you do is you cut these out. Um, I would place the deer first, and then I would place the name right in the middle. And that it, it's literally as simple as that. So I hope you guys are able to cut as many images in half as you want to and not have to rely on other people to cut them for you. So thanks for watching.